Hi, this is the best of chess and uh, I am Fide Master Brian Ivanovic. Uh, today uh, we will have a lesson about uh, deflection for hard level and uh, I will try to explain you in detail about tactical element uh, of deflection and we will immediately start uh, with our first example and uh, let's start with our uh, thinking process first step is the estimation of the position and we know that uh, estimation of the position is consisted uh, from two parts uh, qualitative and quali quantitative analyze we'll start with quantitative like always and we can see that uh, white has uh, two rooks a bishop and uh, five pawns and on the other side black has two rooks knight and six pawns so from a mature point of view black is uh, slightly better because he has uh, one pawn up uh, but uh, we will now start with uh, qualitative analyze and we can see that uh, white has a uh, uh, very safe king on g2 uh, which is taking active part in this game also uh, and when uh, this game uh, went to uh, end game then this king will be much better than uh, his uh, opposite on e8 so rook on h1 is also very strong because he is in control on this of this uh, uh, open h file and he is ready to uh, go into black camp and to make some big damage rook on g7 is also very active and uh, he is attacking this uh, pawn on g5 and this pawn is weak pawn because he is isolated uh, and also he is fighting for the control of the seventh rank also and uh, this bishop on e4 is hitting all over the board and he's very powerful on the other side uh, black pieces are very passive you know this uh, king is somehow misplaced he's protecting this rook at the moment so he's um, pinned for this rook in some way and uh, this rook on uh, c8 is very passive and uh, he's doing nothing at this moment this knight ha uh, has no uh, good square to jump you know uh, and this bishop this rook on f7 is the only good piece which is protecting uh, this seventh rank and uh, because of this rook uh, position of black uh, still holds but uh, we will see if that can hold on for a few more moves so we should find a plan how to use this uh, very passive position of black pieces and very active position of white pieces so uh, white is at the moment pawn down but he can return this pawn immediately by playing uh, uh, rook g5 but after king d7 uh, position is slightly better for white still but uh, black cannot uh, black, black will uh, achieve probably a draw in this position mm instead of uh, rook g5 black uh, white should try uh, to find some better candidate move and to use this uh, initiative which he has and uh, after uh, we conclude this we can easily find uh, that uh, right candidate move should be rook h8 because now and last piece is included uh, into attack and uh, this rook is giving a check to black king and black has uh, two options to protect his king from check by playing rook f8 and in this case white will play rook h6 and uh, two pawns of black is hanging and uh, still position of uh, black pieces are just worse not better so rook f7 sorry rook f8 uh, is not so good option second option is to play king d7 and after this move we have a couple of candidate moves and first one is to take this uh, rook on f7 but in this case uh, black can play rook h8 and uh, black is even slightly better here but uh, game will probably end in a draw uh, so this candidate move is not good and second candidate move can be rook c8 but in this case b uh, rook on g7 is hanging so 
uh, we can conclude that uh, the minus of uh, white position in this case is uh, that uh, both of rooks is hanging and uh, we should try to find some intermediate move how to uh, break defense of uh, black and we will do that by playing this uh, unbelievable move and that is move bishop c6 we are giving a check and we are forcing black king to come on bad square where we can take this rook with check or if he accept this uh, sacrifice then again he will have trouble and let's find out uh, what uh, black can play in this position first option is to take this uh, bishop with his knight but in this case uh, white, white, white can play rook f7 and take this rook with the check and white is completely winning second option for black is to move just a king on c7 but uh, this move has the same minus like move uh, king c6 and that is rook c8 check and uh, when black take this rook then white will take another rook and uh, white has a big material plus and he is going to win this game as i said uh, rook c sorry king c6 is leading to uh, pretty much the same variation and again white has big material advantage so there is a couple of options which left to black that is a king e6 and rook c6 and first one is rook c6 uh, if black play rook c6 then uh, this rook on h8 is not hanging anymore so we can take this rook on f7 and black, black is completely lost in this case also so king e6 is only last option and in this case this king is protecting this uh, rook on f7 and this knight is protecting uh, this uh, rook on c8 on the other side we can see that uh, both of uh, white rooks is still hanging so we should find a way how to uh, solve this problem and we can solve this problem by using uh, intermediate move check and we will do that by playing rook h6 check now black has only one option available and that is rook f6 to protect his king from check and in this case we can see that uh, only this king is protecting this uh, rook on f6 and we will use one more deflection to win this rook and with this rook we will win and the game and we will play bishop d7 check and after king d7 rook f6 and white is completely winning so this was the first example now we will go for our next example this is our second example and uh, we will immediately start with uh, our process of thinking and uh, we will start by uh, quantitative analyze and we can see that white has queen, bishop, knight and five pawns and on the other side black has queen, two knights and uh, six pawns so again black has uh, one pawn more and uh, from a material point of view he is slightly better but uh, in this position white is on the move and uh, we will now take a look at the position of pieces or uh, qualitative analyze and we can see that uh, white king is at the moment pretty much safe here on uh, g1 queen on e5 is very active he uh, she is uh, attacking this uh, pawn on d5 also pinning this knight for this king and supporting this uh, very strong passive pawn on e6 uh, knight on g3 is prepared for some tactical uh, operations by sacrificing him but he can also improve his position by playing uh, knight e2 knight f4 maybe and this 
bishop on b2 is currently uh, not doing uh, anything but uh, it can maybe be used to uh, control these dark squares uh, which is very weak in black camp and on the other side we can see that uh, black has very weak king on g7 uh, knight which is uh, knight on f6 which is uh, uh, pinned and cannot be moved uh, queen on e7 is very defensive uh, she is just uh, blocking this uh, uh, e6 pawn and we know that the blockade uh, piece uh, shouldn't be queen that is uh, wasting of energy in chess and uh, this knight on b3 uh, theoretically he is very good because uh, he is uh, protected by this pawn on uh, uh, c4 but somehow he's out of the game if he managed to uh, uh, come on e4 via uh, d2 then uh, probably uh, black will be better but uh, he cannot do that because uh, white is on the move and we should try to uh, use this uh, our pluses and that is uh, this pawn on e6 which is very strong and our very active king sorry very active queen and uh, this bad position of uh, black king queen and knight on f6 and as I said the queen is a very bad blockade piece and uh, she is bad because uh, she is very, very vulnerable so if we attack queen with any piece, uh, she will be forced to move and uh, that will lead us to the conclusion that we need to play very easy move and that is uh, bishop a3. We are attacking this queen and she will have to make decision if uh, she would like to take this bishop or to move on 8th rank and let's say if uh, black play for instance queen e8 white can answer with queen c7 check and after this check uh, black can play for instance king g8 and after bishop e7 this is attack on this uh, knight when black move his knight then Queen d7, and we can see that it is very difficult for black to stop this pawn, and he is going to lose this game because of uh, a very strong pawn on e6. So queen is 28 wasn't so good move, and uh, let's try second option, and that is to take this uh, bishop on a3. Now we can move our pawn. But we can see also that uh, this queen uh, is not protecting this knight on f6 anymore. So only protector is king on uh, g7. And uh, if we manage to give a check from uh, some square and attack this knight on f6 at the same time, this knight is going to fall. And how to do that? There is only one uh, logical choice in this position for this purpose and that is knight h5. After knight h5 we are giving a check to a black king and uh, we, are for we are forcing black to uh, give up from this knight on f6 and then uh, passage for, uh, for ours uh, uh, pawn on uh, e6 will be uh, completely free and he can be promoted into a queen so let's see options of black he can play king h8 but then after queen f6 king h8 queen h7 mate so this option is not good after king g8 white plays knight f6 and again black is completely losing this game so this is also a bad option. King f8 is also leading to a mate. 
after queen f6, king, uh, king uh, e8, queen f7, king d8, queen d7 mate. So queen f8 is also a bad option. King h6 looks somehow uh, better than this previous move uh, from black and after this move white will take this uh, knight on f6 and uh, there is no way to protect uh, these squares of promotions by black and uh, black must uh, try to find uh, uh, salvation in giving a check to a, black, uh, to a white king and uh, after this check White is forced to play king f2, and after queen d2, check, king j3, queen c3, check, king h4. And now we can see that uh, white is threatening to play knight h8 and to give a mate to black king. And there is two options, to move this king immediately on uh, g7, and to take this... Uh, uh, pawn on d4 with uh, queen and to give a check and attack the queen at the same time and let's start with uh, king g7 after king g7 we have beautiful move queen c7 and when black plays king h6 then knight g8 mate if black plays somewhere on 8 rank for instance uh, king h8 then queen h7 mate if king f8 then queen f7 mate if king g8 then sorry if uh, king uh, f6 uh, then queen f7 mate so king g7 is a bad option for black and another option is uh, to take uh, on d4 as i said before and uh, after this taking uh, we cannot take this queen because after knight d4 uh, if we play uh, e7 then black can play uh, check and when we move our king then he can take this uh, pawn and black is winning so we can we cannot take this queen but what to do our queen is hanging and uh, black uh, gave a check to our king and this is a very strong move after which uh, black is completely lost that is knight g4 it's check for black and black cannot play with his king only move for black is uh, queen g4 but after this move uh, king g4 uh, white has a big material advantage and uh, he's going to win this game in a few moves so we can conclude that uh, this move king h6 is not good also and the last option for black is to play gh5 and after this move we can give a check and attack the knight at the same time and we will achieve that by playing queen g5 and black has again two options King f8 and king h8 and after king f8 queen f6 if black plays uh, king g8 then we, we we will come in the same line as in the main line so we will just see uh, king e8 and after this move queen f7 king d8 queen d7 mate so let's go to the main line uh, if white plays, sorry, sorry, if black plays uh, king h8, then queen f6 check, king h8, e7, and now black will try to keep perpetual check, but uh, he will not succeed in this. After queen c1, king f2, queen d2, king g3, queen e3, king h4. King queen e4, king h5, queen e2, g queen uh, sorry king uh, h4, queen e4, g4, queen e1, and after king h5 there is no check anymore. And in next move, white will play queen f8 and promote uh, 
a new queen or give a mate to black. Let's go for our, our last example for today. This is our last example uh, and uh, we will start uh, with uh, our thinking process and uh, we can see that white has queen to rooks, bishop, knight and five pawns and on the, on the other side black has uh, queen, rook, uh, two bishops, uh, two knights and six pawns. So we can see that uh, black has a knight and a bishop and a pawn for a rook. So from material point of view black is better. But now we will go on qualitative analysis of the position and we can see that uh, white king uh, on c1 is perfectly safe, uh, queen on h8 is uh, pinning this uh, bishop on f8 and uh, doing amazing job attacking this uh, king on e8. Rooks are also atta attacking this uh, position of black king, so they are also very strong and powerful. Knight on d5 is in the center of the board and he's very very strong and creating some tactical possibilities. Bishop on c4 is also well placed. On the other side we can see that uh, uh, this queen on a7 is completely misplaced also rook is completely undeveloped uh, uh, bishop on c8 is not doing anything bishop on f8 is pinned and uh, he's very uh, bad placed uh, this knights on e6 and c5 is protecting each other and uh, they are only thing which uh, is holding black position. So it is obvious that black king on e8 is very very bad and we should just open the position and game will be over. But how to do that? If we can imagine the position without this knight on e6 we can easily conclude that uh, we can take this uh, bishop, sorry, this pawn on e7 and after taking this pawn, black will be forced to play king d8 and after queen f8 will be mate. So we should just uh, deflect this knight from e6 and that we will achieve by playing knight c7. Check. And black cannot play with his king. Only move for black is knight c7. But how to proceed? How to finish this attack? Very logical move. Rook e7 check. King must take this rook on e7, and after he takes this rook, black will give a check. After queen f6, black is forced to play king e8, and now final move rook d8 mate. This was a lesson about uh, deflection for a hard level and uh, I hope that uh, everything is uh, pretty clear and uh, that I show many examples uh, which are very illustrative and uh, we will see you soon this was uh, Fide Master Bonimanovic for the best of chess